All right, let's spill the tea. Oh, it's really coffee. Mm, that's horrible. We can make a better coffee mm. than that. Ugh. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So you've probably seen the title and are wondering what the hell is going on. We're going to tell you today in this video, give you a little life update and let you know what's going on. I actually put on our Instagram for you guys to ask us some questions. I feel like we've not done one of these like chatty catch up Q&A videos for a while now. And obviously we do have some big news that we're going to be telling you throughout this video. We just went and got a iced latte from Costa. We tried it and we were like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Like, we even tried to add our own syrup to make it nicer, and it just tastes like burnt coffee granules, like all smoky. It literally tastes like a cigarette. So we went back round and got new ones, and they just taste the exact same. Actually disgusting. And it was so embarrassing, so obviously... We had to complain. Yeah, I, just, I hate complaining. And I was like, oh no, what am I going to say? Oh. And then we've gone back round, and it tastes... Yeah, it tastes the same, or even worse. Great start to our day. Yeah, I was going to say. Our week. <laughs> First question... Would you ever start a podcast? I'd actually love to do that, but I feel like I always get my words wrong. And yeah. on podcast, you can't just cut it down, can you? Well, it can, can be you? edited. Oh, can you? I just feel like, what do you even talk about? Yeah. I guess, like, people's dilemmas and stuff, you can, like, do. Yeah. If I did a podcast, I'd probably just do, like, people's dilemmas and, like, doing things like that. Not just sitting there chatting, do you know what I mean? Because I, I literally would have nothing to talk about. Mm. My life's not but that interesting. I probably would never, because... I'm actually surprised I even do YouTube because I hate listening back to my mm. voice. So I feel like a podcast would be even worse than that. I just wouldn't ever do a podcast. <laughs> even though your whole job is literally to talk yeah. on camera. <laughs> but I don't know, podcasts have never really interested me. I think it's because I don't listen to them. Yeah. If I was really into them, I'd be like, oh, I'd love to do a podcast, but... I watched some of Saving Grace's podcasts because she's so funny. Yeah. And then that's about it, really. I don't mm. really watch anyone else. No, I neither. Watch when, like, Sophia and Chintia do the, um... This <laughs> when they dress yeah, up. Yeah, when, like, for Halloween or yeah. something. Yeah. But I don't really listen to them. I no. just look at that. Someone said, do you have any plastic surgery? The answer to that is no. No. We've got no plastic surgery. And I don't think I'd want any either. I want a boob job <laughs> it's a nose job plastic surgery yeah if i could have before and after photos of if i got a nose job what my oh, nose would look like afterwards yeah i would do it but i would be too scared that i would do it and then and i would hate it in person and be like yeah. what have i done you can't get your nose no back. the thing scared. like when you get plastic surgery that'll be it like imagine getting a boob job and hating it you can't go back to yeah you know yeah. so i feel like it yeah it's just a bit scary I probably would never actually do it yeah. even if I did, did have the money to do it I don't think I would I was a bit please can you do a vlog with Emily boy I love you three oh we literally need to see Emily and she's pregnant I actually can't believe it we can actually talk about it now I'm literally so happy for her she's wanted a baby yeah for ages and now she's gonna be such a good mom yeah and she's Tom's gonna be such a good dad yeah and she's already like got like niece and nephew so like with us we would have no yeah like no idea because no we've got no like We've got younger cousins, but we don't really see them that much. Yeah, and, and when they were babies, we were quite young, yeah. so we didn't like look after them or anything. Yeah, so. but with Emily, I feel she's like it's going like, to come so natural to her. Yeah, but she's definitely born to be a mum. Yeah, and oh, I, I can't getting, wait. To why is it making me emotional? Really, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go um, shopping and buy Baby a little shopping. cute outfit. Oh, oh, oh my, my god. god, that's going to be so good. She scanned, she finds out the gender. Yeah. So then we can go shopping after that. Yeah we can get blue or pink I'm so excited someone said can you live from social media or do you have a normal job why have they said normal job yeah this social is media job. is a normal job it's probably mm. more normal now than any other yeah. job so everyone does it but mm. social media is our job and that's the only thing that we make money from we don't have any other income so yeah we're full-time Social media content creators. <laughs> I actually never know what to call it. Yeah, like when someone says, oh, what do you do for like living? I'm like... Content creator. Yeah, like what the fuck do I'm I I'm not say? saying influencer. Yeah, and then they're like, what, you're an influencer then? You're yeah. an influencer and it's like... like no. No, I'm not. You make content online, <laughs> yeah. brands. We're actually so lucky to be able to say that this is our full-time job. We don't need to 
work another job as well to be able to live. It's so weird because it's like so normal to us now, but when you really deep think it, we're literally so lucky. Mm. Like we work No, I together. always think about how lucky yeah, we are. Yeah, no, I know, but like at the start we would literally be like everything comes through the door, like clothing wise, we'd yeah. be like, oh my God, but like, now it's sort of... It's like the norm. Yeah, the norm, but also I still think, wow, like yeah, we well, are like, so oh lucky. My God, yeah, like, like I still get so excited when a white fox yeah, comes through like, the door, I'm like, hell? oh my God, like, we just got this gifted. Yeah, like, and mm. just being able to work with like brands that we've like loved and like yeah. bought from before. But the thing is that like, it wouldn't actually be possible without everyone watching yeah literally thank you guys for watching us and whoever still supports us and watches us yeah, from four from years ago start. yeah that's actually mad that if people still watch us from the very start yeah they're still watching us thank you so much <laughs> true supporters yeah someone's put where are your extensions from and what length do i have these are euphoria extensions i've actually got nano bonds and i did have 24 inches but Every time I have them refitted, I get them cut down because obviously after a while they do go a little bit ratty on the end. So these are probably like, I reckon like 20 inches now. Yeah. He love Euphoria hair extensions. I actually do the ultra thick ones as well now. got them for, I think it was before I went to, oh no, it was before I went travelling last year. But oh, obviously but, oh my God. that just didn't work. Like. Yeah, I feel like when I go travelling, I'm definitely And then not I had them extensions. in Ibiza as well. And you know, it just mm. goes all frizzy in the heat. Literally went pfft. Oh, that was like, what the hell, I look stupid, but you miss having extensions. I've had no extensions now f since December. What the hell? Your hair's like grown so it. much though. Do you remember how thin your hair was? Yeah, but it's still You don't not... think it has, but like it has. Yeah, it has I mean? grown, but it's still not like, I don't know. I just love having like long hair to be able to curl it. I miss the fact that you can just scrape your hair yeah, back. Yeah, true. And I, I had my hair, hair up yesterday and all my bonds were showing. They weren't. Were they not? No, I was thinking they weren't showing. Really? Yeah. Oh, I feel like having no extensions is good, but at the same time, I just really want long hair and I definitely will have them back. It's annoying because like, in summer you want n nice long hair, but then it's so hot. You have to put it up you anyway. You have to put it up anyway because it's like, ugh, it's like yeah. too much. Today I'm like, it's 27 degrees outside and... After this video, I'm going to just chop my hair up in a bun. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, what's the point of actually having extensions in summer? But then when you're on holiday, you want to look nice in the evening, yeah. you want to have long hair. Someone said, what's your top five makeup item? I would say the Iconic Radiance Booster. Only because I wear that under makeup and I also wear it like on its own if I'm not wearing like, any other makeup. And it makes your skin look so glowy. I would also say the BFF. <gasps> have you heard about it? They're discontinuing, they're discontinuing it, it, but they've, they're making a new one. Yeah. But I hope it'll be better, but imagine if it's not. Imagine if it's not. Mine's it's on now. sale on um, TikTok I shop for £10. I might get enough one just in case. I might get like three. Get a different shade. Cause yeah, because mine looks a bit muddy. Yeah, I want more like a okay. warmer type yeah. one. I didn't know what shade. I was going to get it, but I was like, I don't know what oh, shade to get. Yeah, I might have a look. Mm. Yeah, guys, if you haven't got that, then that's like such a good cream bronzer. Like, have you got it on now? No. Oh right, yeah, face. got it on now. I always wear it if I've not got a full face of makeup on. Literally, we yeah. put it all over our That's face. That's good. Imagine if it's like the new one's really like... Or it's in like a stick or something. Yeah, I've seen the new one. It's like the same sort of like shape. Oh, like, Yeah, it? but it looks really gooey. So oh, I'm like, well, you can't put yeah, it all over your it's face. it's all like smearing over. The only thing Fuck. I wear when I don't wear makeup yeah. like today, all I've got on is that BFF bronzer. It's my favourite product. I'm going to get a new one. I'm going to have to buy like 10,000 of them. It lasts ages. I've had mine for like a year now. Yeah, they do. But then it has gone a bit dry. That's the only thing I'd say. Could you leave the lid off? That's <laughs> why. <laughs> say top three makeup. Um, what else? Mine's um, the Maybelline Skin Tint Foundation. Oh yeah, that is really good. I feel like it gives you a really nice glow. Most foundations just look really like cakey. Yeah. But that just looks really nice and glowing. I especially feel like in mine summer. would be that as well, actually. Yeah. Lip gloss. I would say it would be your, your lip gloss, the one I keep using. Oh, what, the Clarins? Yeah, the Clarins lip oil. So really nice. Good. You can wear it on, like, days of no makeup. And it's not sticky. Yeah. It's like, like really the lip like... gloss I've got on now, like that yeah. lifted one, I just feel like I want to take it off. Yeah, because like, you really want to rub it off. Yeah, but the Clarins one's, like, really, like, soft on your skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's really silky. It's really silky on your lips. <laughs> Loads of people asking, when is your next holiday? I'm actually going to Nice in August with Jack and his mum and dad for three nights I think it is I'm so excited because I've wanted to go to Nice for ages and yeah it'll be nice just to have a little break away in the sun it'll be really hot because obviously we're going in August and I haven't got anything else planned which is really weird for me because I feel like I would normally have like a holiday plan for like October November as well just because I hate staying in England and knowing that I haven't got a holiday booked 
Me, on the other hand, I've not got any holidays booked. I really do want to go away, even if it is just for like four nights somewhere. Like, yeah. Even just like Barcelona for like two, three nights. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to go away this year. I'm just not sure when and who with. <laughs> I'm going to try and make Indy come with me, but she probably won't. Someone asked me when you went to Thailand, how careful did you have to be with the food? And I just hear all the time everyone talk about getting ill in Thailand from like the food and the water or like when you go to Bali getting barley belly and me and Jack have now done four months in Thailand and Bali and we didn't get ill once so I don't know if it's because we were really lucky but we didn't brush our teeth with the tap water it was always bottled water and if we were getting ice in our drinks we'd make sure the ice had holes in um because obviously oh what i said holes yeah in. because if it doesn't they've made it from the water oh. if it does it's basically been brought in oh um, and it's not made from like the water in bali um, we weren't that careful with our food because we still wait at like the street markets and like cheap it's places. actually crazy you didn't get in like bali i know because most people do yeah and i feel like when We're i go so traveling lucky. i just i'm just <laughs> i'm gonna get it aren't i <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We were quite careful because at the start we were quite like wary of it and like worried about getting um, a bad belly. But the second time I went, I was like, oh, I didn't get it the first time, so hopefully I won't get it this time. And I didn't. So if that is putting you off going to like Southeast Asia, <laughs> then don't let it because you're not guaranteed and the thing is, though, to get as it. As well, like everyone's saying now, you can't even drink the water in the UK. I know. So it's like you can go to Bali and you can't drink the water out there, but you could literally get ill from drinking them yeah. in the UK now so you can't live your life like that really mm. can you but I think just my main tip would be when you brush your teeth mm. I just didn't use any water I just used a dry toothbrush basically I feel like um, I'll just be like overthinking everything though like can I eat that can I drink that I know, Do you know what I mean? at the start I was like that but I guess when you're out there for a while you just yeah you forget yeah, about you forget. it yeah that's about you guys going traveling together no we're not going traveling together we always said that we'll go traveling together but obviously Immy has been travelling with Jack now um, and I just feel like things change when you get older, like you get partners and you go travelling with them instead. I still think Australia, like if like a work opportunity ever came up where we could go out with like a company or anything yeah. like that, then we would do it together mm. um, or even like in the future still go to Australia together because we've yeah. got um, family out there. Um, but yeah, you never know. Yeah, I definitely want to go travelling myself but... That probably won't be till probably like next year, maybe like May, June. I don't even know yet. Um, I just need to save up and do it. I definitely want to go travelling. Probably go for like five months though, because um, you said like two months was long enough. Like you felt like two months was quite a long time. Yeah, it does feel like a long time when you're out there. Yeah, so I feel like five months, six, five, five to six months. Probably. You wanted to do a year, didn't you? Yeah. But I said to her, she probably would want to come home and get homesick after like four yeah. months. Yeah, so I probably will do like four months. Um, but I'm not even sure where I'm going, what I'm doing yet. So I'll update you on that. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll let you know. <laughs> so I want to put, what's your opinion on solo travelling? I think solo travelling so good. Like, if you have the confidence to go on your own travelling, then do it. I know it's obviously a scary like feeling, thinking, oh my God, I've got to go out there on my own. But you'll meet so many people at hostel. Some people will be solo travelling as well. So you can just like hang around together. Um, I definitely think solo travelling is a good idea, especially if you don't have a partner and stuff. Like, don't feel like you need to go with a friend or you need to go with someone. Just fucking do it. If you want to go travelling, yeah. do it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the scariest part will actually like, be flying out there. Yeah. But as soon as you're there in the hostels, everyone's doing the same thing and come mm. on their own so you'll literally meet so many friends i don't know if i'd be able to do it i think i'd be too scared and i feel like jack had to plan my whole trip and i had no idea what was happening i just turned up <laughs> um was something i'd be able to do but say that but if you were single yeah would I actually you, do and it? you want to go traveling then you might. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, probably. Just that like, scary thought, we'll isn't probably it? really try and beg someone to fly out with <laughs> yeah. and then be like, bye. Yeah. I'm off now. I've met I'm some fine. people now. <laughs> I've made new friends. Yeah. <laughs> How did Kira lose weight? It's so strange because... I don't actually see it, but everyone keeps commenting, like, saying how 
good I look and stuff. Um, I did go for a stage where I was like eating really, really healthy. I wasn't counting my calories, was I really? At the start I was, but then I just gave up in the end. Literally just eating chicken and rice. <laughs> Chick I was on a diet of chicken and rice. <laughs> and then, yeah, I just stopped eating a load of rubbish. But now I've just gone back to eating a load of rubbish because I've had McDonald's like four times in the last week. <laughs> yeah, I have been going to the gym. I was going every day at one point, mm. wasn't I? I need to renew my gym pass. So I haven't really been for the last week going back so yeah it's literally just like eating healthy and going to the gym just do cardio or an ab workout routine i have uploaded a tiktok actually of my ab workout so if you want to know what i do then that's on my tiktok page i said that me and jack planning on moving in together anytime soon and we've actually got some news to tell you guys so me and jack have actually put an offer down on a house and jack basically got a call this morning saying the offer has been accepted Woo! <laughs> me and jack are actually moving out and it's gonna be an end of an era <laughs> why am i getting upset why am i crying you're leaving me <laughs> What am I gonna do? <laughs> Why are we crying? I don't know. Oh, my fingers just hit us. <laughs> so weird because it's like it's such a happy moment for obviously you and Jack, but then it's such a sad moment because we've lived together for our, for our whole yeah. life, <laughs> and we're just not gonna be living together. We've literally like woken up in the same house for like twenty four years, and oh. now. <laughs> what am I gonna do about you? <laughs> oh, 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 oh god, this was meant to be happy. <laughs> We're both crying. <laughs> like, obviously, I am really excited to move out of Jack, and like, it's like a whole new thing, and. I can't actually tell you how long I've wanted my own house. Like, <laughs> when we always go shopping, I'm like, I can't wait to get that for my own house and all of this. But obviously it's just sad because, like, me, Mum and Kira live together and then that came to an end and then me and Kira have been living together for, like, a year now, just us two. And it's just going to be so weird, like, not living together. Mm. But... Kira's literally going to be around all the time. We obviously work together, so... Yes, it's not like we're not going to be seeing each other. No, and as well, it's she's literally down like the road. It's literally 10 minutes down the road, so... It's not like she wanted to move down the road. No. But um, it's just worked out the way, way it has. Yeah. Obviously, that's good because then we can still drive around. She can still drive around to the apartment and we can still like work together and stuff. We're going to have different videos now on our channel because we'll be doing like a house tour, moving in. And we'll be able to go like rules. homeware shopping. I'm actually so excited. And the fact that we can actually start buying stuff for our house and, and can not. i just say emmy's house is going to be the nicest house it's going to literally be spotless <laughs> it's going to be like a going to be like a show home like it's going to be unreal i'm just so excited to get like new stuff you know you get bored and i yeah. get really bored easily so i'm so excited to get... you're going to be changing up your house all the time you're like don't like it anymore yeah let's get rid of it all but... get rid of that sofa <laughs> yeah, basically our application's all been checked and like they're happy with like most things they've only got a few things to check over now so fingers crossed it all goes through well but been such a quick process because we're first time buyers and it's a new build so we've got no chain we didn't even expect to be like thinking about moving in this quick like we thought maybe like december or early next year but if everything does go through then we'll literally be in probably at the beginning of september started buying our sofas and everything and me and kira are going to be doing like shopping videos where we can go like choose like things because i want kira to come with me and help me with that because jack does care but he he likes leaving things to me and knows that i love like stuff like that anyway so so funny because jack and Emmy have the exact same taste yeah. we did like a mood board on this app we both designed the living room and it was basically the same we had like the same style sofa same color scheme coffee tape literally it was like exactly the same. it was the exact it was so same weird. so it's so good that we've got yeah. the same taste because i feel like most boys would like yeah. know, like blue and yeah more, but luckily jack's blue <laughs> a blue sofa <laughs> yeah. a blue lampshade <laughs> football yeah. luckily jack's got a similar taste to me and i've been wanting to tell you guys for ages but obviously we didn't know if i didn't um, want to jinx it yeah we didn't want to jinx it and didn't know if our application and everything and mortgage was going to go through it's looking positive and i'm so excited about it but obviously it's sad because 
we're not going to be living together. But we're still going to be filming twice a week and yeah. like nothing's going to change in that sense. It's just, I'm just basically going to be living with Jack and Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be moved in. Yeah. <laughs> basically going to be the three of our yeah. channel now. Well, the three best friends that anyone can have. The three best friends that anyone can have. The three best friends that anyone can have. Jack was singing that last night. We all sitting on the sofa and Jack started going. The and he had these eye friends. patches on, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was like the three best friends that anyone can have. <laughs> oh, I love it. Imagine him. videoing him. Yeah. Putting it in. Put it in. I was going to see whether you'd want this channel to like stay more me and Kira content, the videos that we normally do, and then me and Jack create a separate channel for like our moving out vlogs and stuff or whether you just want it kept on one channel let us know but i'll also be doing loads of like videos on tiktok and stuff as well but yeah that is the big news and the big life update it is a big thing yeah it's like, a huge thing it's your first ever house yeah we're literally buying our first time it's actually um, mad like don't you think i know don't think it's scary how we're going to be 25 this year yeah no next next year, year. i know but like how are we going to be 25 next year? I don't like it. How have I not been travelling yet? How have I not moved out? Uh -huh. I've got no life. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sort my life out. What am I going to do? So I'm just glad that I've been travelling and to the places that I wanted to go to. But obviously, you'll be doing that next year. Yeah. If you did it at the start of next year, do it before you're 25 anyway. Oh, yeah. What matter about your age? Why not? I feel like with social media nowadays, you always compare yourself to other people. Yeah. Do so you see that everyone's like, either getting married or getting engaged having or kids, having kids and, and it's like, like what? what buying a house for example and then you think oh my god i need to do all these things but it's like no like everyone's different everyone's yeah. it at a different time so if you see everyone moving out at like the age of 23 24 and you think oh my god i'm like 25 26 and i haven't moved out or you haven't got married or if you haven't got a partner then don't stress because your time will come yeah someone said advice for navigating <laughs> 20s if you should be single long-term relationships jobs etc and i'll just say don't don't worry and don't mm. like have it planned out what's meant to be will be and i feel like if you're looking for it then you won't find it with relationships they just come like naturally like, i was never looking for a relationship because i'd literally just turned 18 only just was going out like clubbing yeah. whatever and then i literally met jack on my first ever night out i feel like you just want to live your 20s early 20s is still so young you just want to have fun like go out with your friends, live life, and then you've got the rest of your life to like settle down with someone, get like an important job that you want yeah. to stay in for the rest of your life. If you do have the money to go travelling, then you might as well do it because otherwise you're going to be like tied <clears throat> into a house and yeah. a mortgage and you won't be able to travel. So yeah, I would say I think travelling is the most important thing when you're in your early 20s that's good what? live each day as if it was your last because tomorrow may never come that is actually so true yeah you know, i always think i really wish i knew the day I you're know. gonna die then you can and like how yeah and how how are you gonna die and what day you're gonna die it could literally be like next month yeah and then you could be like right i'm going traveling tomorrow yeah but you don't know when you're gonna die it's just a scary thing what was that film I watched the other day. He knew what day his girlfriend was going to die, and he was trying to stop oh, yeah, the day that from was, um, that happening. Series. Yeah, and then she died. Yeah, that day. Just literally live every day like it's your last. Really, don't stress about small things in life. I feel like it's easier said than done. Yeah, I know. Like we say because that, I, but... I say that, but actually, I do stress about things. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually boiling in here today and tomorrow is like twenty-eight degrees. So where the weather's come from? Why does it always do that? Like. Get yeah, oh, I know. to be fair, it's only the end of July. Yeah. It's not that late in the year. But I feel like we've literally not had a summer. I know. It's actually really depressing. I know. I hate England. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to move out of England. <laughs> Get me out of this <laughs> We're going to end this video here because the main reason was just to answer a couple of your questions and obviously talk to you guys about the update. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this like chatty Q&A video. Obviously, our next videos will be like more like home content mm -hmm. and then we'll go into like moving vlogs well let me know if you want to see like moving vlogs and stuff but yeah we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video give it a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in our next video bye, bye.